Hey there, stackers. What's up? Big Stack McGee here with another silver video for you. I have to thank uh, the Sharp and Shiny for uh, giving me this uh, coin as part of a Stackerville trade. I'm going to do a little profile on this right now. This is the uh, Mexican Onza. And this uh, particular coin is a bullion device that the Mexican Mints came up with in 1949. And then they did again in 1979 excuse me, 1978, 79, and 80. Most of the coins that you're going to see floating around there are probably going to be 79 or 80. They call it the balance scale Onza. And I love these coins because they're sterling silver, which by itself, I guess, is not the greatest. But the fact remains that there's one full troy ounce of silver in this. They just make it a little bit heavier to account for it. So it's 33.625 grams, a little bit heavier than the coins and rounds you're used to holding. Also just a little bit uh, bigger diameter, just a little bit bigger than a American Silver Eagle. Um, very fun to hold, clink around in your hand, etc. Um, and also, um, these were replaced then, as, a, as far as the bullion goes, with the, uh, the Libertad. I believe they started those in 1982 and that's still going strong today in various uh, forms, fractionals, and uh, bigger than uh, an ounce, etc. Um, they changed the design along the way, but I've been trying to find some of these. Many uh, popular bullion dealers say they have them, or you know they they put an ad out, you know, saying that they carry them, or that they might not be in stock, etc. So I think they just wait for people to sell them back, and then they uh, let them out their doors too. But um, until now, this has been the only one I've been able to locate for a reasonable price, and uh, I did pick some up. So I'm really excited to open this. Before I do that, I just get on to do a quick shout out to Stock Jockey. He uh, messaged me on YouTube, tell me about a great promotion. It was a free shipping promotion from a place, um, and I'm not going to say where it's at because it's not relevant right now, I don't believe. But it, um, it was one of those things where you had to be checking on their website, and it, they would have a, they would announce it and you know with a big hourglass and say, you got like two hours to be able to order, and then the free shipping is gone until it comes back, etc. Well, he messaged me and said, Check it out. They, it's on right now. You got basically 90 minutes to, to order. Well, I di didn't get that message on my phone until there was 10 minutes remaining. And so I'm on lunch break at work. I'm like, oh, I got to find something. So I'm trying to navigate on my smartphone uh, the website and I'm looking for anything that I might want. And so I'm, you know, counting the, the minutes here, trying to figure it out. And lo and behold, I'm checking my usual suspects. And they got a whole batch of these in. So I was really, really excited uh, about that. And I was able to pick up enough to uh, round out a tube. Um, so I want to say thank you to Stock Jockey for uh, messaging me and basically uh, uh, helping me uh, get a great uh, free shipment. So without any further ado, I'm going to set this aside and we'll uh, open this up. Alright, here we go. Um, I'm actually pretty grateful that they shipped these in a tube. I picked 19 of these up. Um, I did not have any tubes that fit these. I tried even the ones that were marketed as the uh, American Eagle, though slightly bigger, and they wouldn't quite uh, fit in, or this one coin wouldn't quite fit in. So, got a tube. There we go. Take a look at one of these. Same basic thing as what I got. Some nice uh, luster there. This is a 1980 specimen. The one I had was 79. Yeah, look at that. You can see. I don't know if you can catch that on video or not, but uh, some nice cartwheeling there. Pretty impressed. I'm very pleased to have these. Um, I'm a fan of silver you can touch. These particular coins are circulated, most of them, to uh, a certain degree. And, yeah, this one. 
I don't know. I just I'm a, I'm a fan of being able to uh, to touch silver. So I like bullion that does not necessarily have to be treated with uh, gloves and stuff. Although I do have some of that, and I do treat it with gloves. Um, the what the stuff that needs to be. But um, one of the things I guess that I've done I've changed in the way that I stack is when I first started stacking, I put everything in airtights. And for those of you that do that, I think it's totally totally great, and it's nothing wrong with it. That little bit of extra expense, especially because you can find some of those for pretty cheap, especially if you buy them in bulk, etc. But um, I just decided that a, just straight up bullion for me had no reason to uh, to worry about touching it. Um, they make coin dips for bullion that uh, like Easy S, um, which uh, works just terrifically. I have a review of that um, probably from about two months ago that uh, works like a charm. And so if you really do have bullion that you want to spiff up, you can easily use that and remove any kind of tarnish and all that kind of stuff. Um, Obviously, you know, air tights can protect against dings and stuff too, but most bullion, you know, it's it's basically conveying the worth of the metal. Um, there is a lot of bullion treated now where it's, you know, they they label it as, you know, small mintage, etc., and they, you know, premiums go higher, but I'm just not a fan of premium bullion. I, I'm totally a fan of numismatics. Um, I'm learning as much as I can. I'm just starting to get into some of that stuff, but... For me, just common bullion, you know, I don't think you need to worry about touching it, etc. So anyway, that's where I stand on that. I do have one more thing I wanted to talk about. Um, and so if you're still watching this, I apologize if this runs long. Basically, it has to do um, with the idea of not promoting uh, bullion dealers in our videos. And uh, First of all, Cliff Search is the guy that first kind of came up with that, at least the one that he, he put a kind of a video together on his thoughts on that, and I totally appreciate uh, his sentiment. Um, I'm just going to give my two cents, and I want to say I do agree. There's no reason to give free promotion when you don't have to, okay? However, um, I did have someone message me just a couple days ago, and it was a young stacker, and he asked if I would kindly explain to him why we're not allowed to talk about where we buy our stuff from anymore and he was confused and and I so there is some confusion out there and I want to talk just address that we're we're not there's no nothing and get you can do whatever you want in your videos you know I mean you're going to get some haters no matter what but I think the idea that Cliff Search had was let's stop giving free promotion let's let's stop encouraging people to buy from places when there's nothing in it for us etc and I can appreciate that um, but I am going to mention where I buy things if it serves my purpose. And my purpose, my channel, is to um, educate and to uh, pass along deals and things like that too. So here's an example. If I get an order from a bullion dealer and I don't like something about it, the first place I'm going to mention that is right on my channel. You know, if, if it's something that I feel like it's a, you know, might help others in making a decision. In other words, um, if someone were to get an order in and it was poorly packaged, well, that may influence whether or not you want to buy from them anymore, right? And so that's good information to pass along. We're always looking for reviews and things like that. Um, so, of course, I'm going to do that. And that is not, it's not only is that not promoting a dealer, but it's informing. It's informing consumers, essentially. But I'm also a big fan of getting deals. Um, one of, I, I go to many popular deal sites. I'm not even talking about silver. I'm talking about pl things like computer supplies and and you know paper and whatever. What you know, think office stuff. You know, um, basically, as soon as someone comes across a deal, they the members post there, and as long as the deal is available, people can take advantage of it. And so I I've been doing that for years. You know, finding cheap coffee, <laughs> you know, whatnot, um, and so you know, when when people do that, it's for the purpose of helping others to try to cash in on a deal. Well, guys, on our YouTube videos, I'm used to seeing people go, "Hey, check out this place. It's got these things for sixty nine cents over spot." I'm like, okay, sweet. It may not last, so I like to be able to find that stuff and head on over there. So. You know, if you find a great deal, I don't think we need to be whispering that to each other. I think we can go ahead and make a video on it, or even if it's just a short little thing, and say, hey, check it out, take advantage if you can, or hey, free shipping, take advantage. Um, to me, that's not promoting a company necessarily as it is uh, allowing someone to make their, you know, possibly their third order of the month and not have to pay shipping or something like that. So I see no problem with that. So when it serves my purpose, I'm going to go ahead and mention uh, that kind of stuff without feeling like I have to be hush-hush. 
And, you know, if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Um, but that's basically where I stand on that. So I appreciate what uh, Cliff Search and the others are trying to do with the moratorium on not promoting. But again, you know, I'm not going to reiterate what I already said. You, you kind of catch the drift. So um, with that, this is Big Stack McGee. Thanks so much for watching my video. I appreciate it, guys. This is a lot of fun. By the way, I think this is my 100th video. Um, and with having said that, I have a one-year anniversary coming up next month. I, I think it's in about five weeks or so. Um, so I guess I'll probably be doing a full stack vid. Um, I really have added to my stack over the last three or four months once silver really dropped down. So um, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing it all laid out. Um, I did one at six months, and I was excited then. I couldn't believe how much I had accumulated in six months. And so now at a year... Um, I don't know. I'm just excited. It's fun stuff. I love the full stack vid. So if you have not yet done a full stack vid, I would highly encourage you to do that. As long as we can uh, maintain our anonymity and all that kind of stuff, uh, why not? I think it's uh, motivational at least. It is to me. So with that, this is Big Stack McGee. Thanks for watching this super supremely long video. You guys have a great night. Take care.